my 6'6", offense-heavy point build, dominating pro-am. First play of the game, y'all. Watch this. Off rip. This is the first possession of the game. Come down the court. Let's hit him with the move. Come down the court. Bang. Put him on the ground. I'm telling you, this build, man. Make sure you guys watch this full video. Like this video. Subscribe, man. Turn on post notifications. We finna hit 3,000 subscribers, y'all. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Um, hit the subscribe thing, man. Turn on notifications, y'all. We finna hit 3K off 2K, man. But look, y'all got a banger today for y'all. If you guys want more Pro-Am gameplay, if you want to see me more in the Pro-Am, y'all, go down to the comment section. Let me know. I can post more Pro-Am bids for y'all. This right here, it wasn't nothing crazy, y'all. It's just a nice little 50 ball and a little matchup. It's not like, you know, the Compass WR League Finals or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little matchup, man, a little warm-up. Had a nice game. Thought I would post it for y'all and give you guys some gems, man. So, look, this right here is something I want to talk about, man. Throughout this video, even though I'm on an offense-heavy point guard, there's a lot of times during this game where I play off-ball like this right here. Y'all see how I'm just off-ball, spotting up, playing my role, man. That's something people don't understand about 2K is playing their role, trusting your teammates, man, and just doing what you're supposed to do on the floor. So many people try to do too much. They're doing too much. They're not on a build that fits their play style. And so that's what really makes 2K not a lot of fun for a lot of people. But this build right here, the 6'6 offense heavy point, this is probably my most competitive, most fun build. I, I wouldn't say it's my most fun build, but it's definitely my most competitive, most meta. I use this build when I want to play this at the highest level. Look, that's an easy example of an off-ball play. I came off the off-ball screen into the easy catch and shoot, man. More people need to understand how to do little stuff like that. And even though I got blocked right here on the fast break, we're going to get it right back. The lockdown gets a great steal. Hits me in transition, man. That's another thing that I really wanted to touch on this game. That's why it's so important that your center has pass accuracy. Because there's so much easy points, easy three-pointers that go up off of break starters, man. If you're a center, make sure. I, I might even put the little tag right here. Make sure that you watch this video. It's going to show you how to throw break starters. Because a lot of centers are really not that good at throwing breaks, and it really holds your team back. It really holds your team back as a center if you can't throw break starters. But look, at the half, man, chilling with the light little 18, just cooking up a little bit, man. This game, like I said, I did end up with like 50 points, y'all. But I really just wanted to break down like how I'm scoring on this build and like what I'm seeing on the court as somebody who, like I said, I can play on ball or off ball. This right here coming up the court, I just go to the left hash and I spot up. The reason I didn't go to the corner was so that the big could run to the corner, okay? Because I'm a better half shooter. And because of that, it caused a little miscommunication. Great pass from the other guard, TCAT, man. Shout out TCAT. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel as well, man. He's another awesome YouTuber. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. But me and him were definitely going crazy in the Pro-Am. Me and him were definitely going crazy, man. You see, I hit him with a nice little mid-range. This build is hard to guard. This build is hard to guard. Then watch this. This is just an example of, this is just a winning play. Like me and T, we were doing touchers up the court. I'm just coming back so we can get it up the court. And I just make the easy little quick dot. That opens up my other teammate for a wide open three. Those are winning plays, man. Just a quick three ball. I know we're up in this game, but stuff like that, man, make sure you can read the floor. I know I only have two assists, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a score first player, but I still see the whole floor every time, man. I still see easy passes, and if I see something wide open like that, I'm not going to hesitate to throw it. I'm just going to throw it, man. But look, this right here, hitting them with the bunny into the M1. Watch this, y'all. This is why it's important. The center hits me on the break. The break is on the money, and I hit them with a nice little extra move. It's important to have moves like this in your bag. Even though I have that 94 dunk, it's important to have other moves in my bag, man. The bunny, the euro step, the spin layup, stuff like that, especially when you combine it with the gold whistle on this build. That's how you get really toxic. And watch this, the break. I know I have heat check, but just look at the perfect break starter. I hit it, and I just catch and shoot wide into an open corner three. Stuff like that really changes the game, y'all. When your center can throw something like that on the money, it really changes the game. There go that gold whistle again, man. That's one of my favorite things about this build, low-key, is the fact that I get whistle on gold. 
I'm telling you, Whistle is a super underrated badge. I got him on my side right here. Then I hit him with the little crab into the shot. I thought I hit that. I thought I hit that. If I would have hit that shot, that would have been crazy, y'all. But trust me, Whistle is a super underrated badge. And then stuff like this, because me and T-Cat, we both have pass accuracy. We can throw full court dots like that. I don't know why they're leaving me with Mamba take at the hash, man. I'm shooting that every single time. So many people are scared to shoot, man. Don't be scared to shoot. Especially in Pro-Am, especially in big games, y'all. The worst thing you could do when you hop on 2K is hop on the game and play scared, man. Don't be scared to shoot. Don't be scared to, to get a bucket, to create a shot, man. That's really what the game is about, putting the putting the ball in the net, man. Don't be scared to get a bucket. Don't be scared to shoot shots. It's better to play aggressive than to play passive. You feel me? But we ended up with a light little 47, man. Easy little game, cool little game. If you guys want more Pro-Am, go down and comment down below. And I got y'all. I'm about to show y'all the full build here in a sec. But you know I got to get y'all with the verse of the video. And today's verse comes from Matthew 7. Build your house on the rock. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock, man. Make Jesus Christ your firm foundation, the rock upon which you stand, because all else is sinking sand, y'all. But look, here go the build, 94 driving dunk plus the 94 three. That's what really separates this build. That's what a lot of people, they don't go 94 three ball, and they don't go 93 ball handle. But trust me, especially in the Pro-Am, this right here is the best build, in my opinion, at 6'6 six, six for like a five out. This is really my Joe Knows build. This build was inspired by Joe Knows. It also was inspired by another YouTuber named Devin God, and I kind of tweaked it how I like it. But trust me, with the 94 three ball, that gives you half open looks, half guard up, half uh, space creator, gold whistle, plus trust me it's a difference between 94 3 and 92 3 ball trust me you can feel it when i shoot this 6 6 shoots lights out y'all seen how i was pulling in that game it's like that every game and then when you combine that with the 94 dunk it gets really toxic it's really hard to guard man you guys seen the dunks i was getting even off rip off rip man no take no nothing man the meter is wide open it's green every single time and then if you combine that with the 89 pass accuracy, so that's enough to get Tyrese Halliburton pass style. It also gives me a uh, bronze bailout, gold dimer, all of that. So the passing's immaculate. Trust me, you can feel the difference between the 77 and the 89. But this 93 ball handle, a lot of people only go 92. A lot of people only go 88, 86. And I have a lower ball handle, 66. But trust me, on a build like this, the 93, it gets you Hall of Fame ankle breaker. And trust me, when you're going against locks in the Pro-Am, when you're going against people with Hall of Fame ankle braces, trust me, that Hall of Fame ankle breaker, especially on a bigger build, on a 6'6", you can definitely feel it. And then combine that with the defense, don't sleep on this 68 block, don't sleep on that 75 interior, y'all. With the 75 interior and the block, I'm able to wall up, play the paint on this build. I get crazy stops on this build, I get blocks on this build, man. I'm telling you, don't sleep on interior, especially if you're a point guard. It also gives me that silver workhorse, man. So trust me, this build goes crazy. But look, I'm showing y'all all the badges. Gold whistle, Hall of Fame guard up, half open looks, man. What was that? Half space creator earlier. Then I also get the Hall of Fame ankle breaker, gold killer combos. This build is crazy. But make sure you guys like this video. Go down to the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all want to see next. And make sure you subscribe. We're about to hit 3K. Hit that notification bell. Other than that, man, hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. And peace.